Someone had asked me a question about, in my near-death experience, um, that I experienced love, and what's the difference between the, that kind of, a, of love that I experienced and the love that, uh, you know, that we have here on earth, basically. Um, just, you know, the, the, the love that we experience here. And the thought that came to me as a way to answer that was with my dog. Uh, you know, what I felt in that near-death experience when I stood before that presence, that being of light, that to me was God, um, that was my interpretation, that it, it was God or a supreme being. What I experienced uh, was, I've said before, it's, it was indescribable. There are no words to convey what that really felt like. It was a total state of bliss, but unconditional love, just absolute unconditional love. It's something that we don't normally experience here because when we think of love, a lot of times it's more of an attraction that we have to someone or a lot of times that love that we feel, um, actually it, 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 uh, it brings about subconscious thoughts of losing the person, what will happen if they die, what will happen if, if uh, they don't love us anymore, that kind of thing. So. I think it's very rare to experience that unconditional love here on earth, although that's the idea. I believe the more that we become the light and we let the light shine through us to other people, the more we heal ourselves of those things that cause us to feel pain, the easier we can feel that unconditional love. But when I thought about it and I thought in my life the times I felt unconditional love, the, the what came to my mind is what I have felt for my animals. And this is my buddy Bo. This is my dog, uh, Bo. I rescued him about six years ago. Uh, a lady had gotten really sick that, that owned him and had gone in the hospital and then en ended up passing on. And um, this dog chose me. I wasn't really in a place where I wanted to get a dog. I love animals, but, you know, my life is very busy. And anyway, he came into my life and he healed me. He was an instrument of healing in my life. He taught me how to love. And that's a whole whole other story that I could get into of all the things that came up when I got this dog. But what it ended up doing, it brought up a lot of, a lot of my own wounds, you know, feelings in the past of... Um, feelings of abandonment, feel, all kinds of, of insecurities that I felt. Uh, and that's just how our subconscious works. We have all kinds of painful memories that are stored from past experiences that end up getting activated by different circumstances that happen. And what we do, we reflect back on those situations. We re-feel that pain and then we attach it to things that are happening in the, in the present. So just one example would be, um, I, I didn't understand why, I mean, I just had a sense, almost a, fa a panicky feeling when I first got him, and I wasn't sure what it was. And then one of the, the memories that ended up coming up for me was a, a dog that we had as a, when I was a child, and there was actually kind of an argument. My dad had gotten really upset because she had chewed up some furniture or shoes or different things and he got rid of her but it was actually on my birthday that was you know maybe I was five years old or something and all of a sudden he took off with that dog and that was a memory that was buried for me I didn't even remember that when it came up I called my mom and said mom do you remember anything with the with our dog disappearing and I mean it just seems like it was something really painful and she said yes of course I do it was your birthday and I, I don't remember I think she said I was five I was four or five years old something like that so um, that is something that was buried for me, but what I did, I do what's called energy work. There's different kinds of work that you can do on yourself. It's, it's that goes back to those memories. It kind of either reprograms, repatterns, or somehow it takes the pain out of those situations. And so he was an instrument that came into my life that helped me find those subconscious memories, those painful experiences that were making me feel things that keep me from being able to feel unconditional love for people. 
it's kind of a complex thing to try to explain here in just a few minutes time but that's the work that I do with clients um, in my coaching business I help them design the life that they you know want to find those things in life that are going to bring true happiness how to create the vision and the goal of that and then to use that to bring up to find those experiences that that are buried deep within that keep you from being able to um, to experience unconditional love uh, so that's that's what Bo did for me he helped me bring up those experiences to my conscious mind and then I did energy work on them and so I got to the place where I feel nothing but unconditional love with him I know this dog loves me it doesn't matter what I do I mean this dog absolutely loves me and I can think of him um, I can think of him and just feel nothing but love and warmth in my heart. Now, sure, I know I'll lose him one day. You know, he's he's gotten sick a, a couple of times when I thought that that uh, it was over for us, and of course that's painful. But I'm still able to even take those painful feelings, do energy work on them, and just be able to enjoy every moment that I have with him and stay in that place of unconditional love. When I see him, I don't worry that that he's going to stop caring about me none of those things are reflected I'm able to just sit with him pet him just feel love in my heart from, for him and feel that love back from him and that's the kind of thing that we want to get where we can do that with humans with our friends with our in our work relationships and in all of our family and every relationship that we have we want to just be able to sit in peace at a place of love and enjoy those feelings in our life without reflecting on things that cause pain. So um, if you'd like to get some more information, please visit my website. You can also, uh, I, I write some different stories and tell how, you know, the different, different situations I've had and how I resolve that using energy work. There's different things that you can do. There's things that you can um, that you can learn to do that are absolutely free. There's work that you can do that there's you know products and things that you can you can purchase that you can use and there's coaching that you can get for it so there's a, a lot of different things I talk about and review so if you'd like to uh, get some more of that information you can stop by um, energy dot piece of success dot com that's the word energy e n e r g y dot p e a c e o f s u c c e ss.com energy.pieceofsuccess.com so it's just http colon backslash backslash forward slash forward slash whatever it is uh, the http sign and then uh, no www just put in energy.pieceofsuccess.com get some more information and see what this can do in your life but that's the difference when I stood in the light I was able to feel nothing but unconditional love when I when I sit with my dog, I'm able to feel unconditional love. When I think of um, humans and relationships, a lot of times I start to feel that, but then worry comes in, or pain, or the thoughts thought of of loss, or being abandoned, rejected, all those kind of things. So those are the emotions then that I take and do energy work on to to remove. But I'd have to say that. <laughs> the closest thing that I experienced unconditional love is my dog my dog looking at me just knowing that he loves me so much just unconditionally and he will be there for me you know as long as as long as he's on this earth he is devoted to me and he will be there for me so that's how we want to spend our our life thinking about everybody so please excuse this the lighting's not right I've got I just uh it was tough to um get things right to be able to get my dog in here but I wanted you to meet him and I wish you'd even Bo can you sit up a minute turn around here that's the closest I can do <laughs> to get him to get him to sit up a little bit but he's a beautiful boy and he's I have pictures of him on my website so stop by my website and visit peaceofsuccess.com or energy.peaceofsuccess.com talk to you later